published 11:56 Eastern Standard Time, the 27th of January 2018, updated 13:27 Eastern Standard Time, the 27th of January 2018. It was not a goal to burn itself into the subconscious like Keith Houchin's flying header at Wembley, but a scruffy close-range strike by Maxime Bayam who launched Coventry City back in time to a world of FA Cup rapture. Bayamu forced Mark McNulty's low cross shot past goalkeeper Lee Nichols early in the second half and settled an otherwise humdrum fourth round tie at Milton Keynes. Up went the flares of blue smoke in the away end and dozens of supporters spilled onto the pitch, dancing their jigs of delight and unable to contain the urge to hug the players in sky blue. Maxime Bayamu scored the only goal as Coventry made it through to the FA Cup fifth round MK Dons, 4, 2, 3, 1, Nichols 6.5, Williams 6.5, Wooten 60 save 5, Lewington 6, Ebbings Landau 57 minutes, 6, Ups and 6.5, McGrandles 76, 5, Gilby 6, so 5, Tavernier, 7, Ugbo, 5, Agard, 5, Nesbitt, 65, 5, Subs not used, Sietzma, New Ahead, Rasulo, Britain Goals, Known Bookings, Tavernier, Ebbings, Landall Manager, Dan Mitchish, 6, Coventry, 4, 4, 2, Birch, 7, Grimmer, 6, Willis, 7, McDonald, 7, Stoke, 6, Bayliss, 6.5, Kelly Evans, 83, Kelly, 7.5, Stevenson, 76, 6, Doyle, 7, Barrett, 6, Shipley, 59, 6, Miami, 8, McNaught, 7, subs not used Vincenti, O'Brien, Hyam, Ponticelli goals, Bayamu 64 bookings, Doyle, McDonald manager, Mark Robbins 7 referee, Peter Banks 6 attendance, 14,925 home fans jeered their displeasure but it takes a hard heart to begrudge Coventry supporters a rare moment of euphoria at they have suffered a long and painful slide since relegation from the top flight in 2001, plagued by ugly disputes with unpopular owners and a spell in exile at Northampton. But sensing an upset in a competition they won in 1987, nearly 8,000 made the short journey south and contributed to more than half of the attendance inside the stadium, MK. They deserve to bask a little as they go into the last 16 of the competition for the first time in nine years. It's brilliant and you can see what it means to them, said manager Mark Robbins, who won the FA Cup with Manchester United in 1990 but has never been this far as a manager. I've experienced it a bit in my career but here it's really special. We brought 8,000 fans and we had more than them, and that's generally not allowed to happen, but it's happened. Our fans deserve enormous credit because they've got behind the team and been really vocal and made an unbelievable atmosphere. It's exactly what we've come to expect because they never let us down. They've been let down by us more than we've been let down by them, that's for sure. Bayamu fired home in front of the away end as he finished off a swift Coventry. Counter-attack flares of blue smoke were seen in the away end and dozens of supporters spilled onto the pitch like Robbins. Goal hero Bayamu is no stranger to the FA Cup magic. This time last year he was at Sutton United, helping the National League part-timers beat AFC Wimbledon and Leeds United before going out to Arsenal, the eventual winners. Bayamu's efforts earned him a step into League Two although this was not an upset on quite the same scale as Sutton against Leeds. Only eight teams separated Coventry and MK Dons at the start of play. It was a disappointing start for Dan Mitchish, back at Milton Keynes as the new manager, having left the club's academy to join the FA. Coventry's highly rated 18-year-old winger Tom Bayliss lashed an effort-wide defeat was a disappointing start to life under new MK Dons manager Dan Mitchish. Mitchish saw his team dominate for a long period without ever creating clear opportunities. Bayamu and McNulty were foiled by keeper Nichols in the first half and Tom Bayliss, a teenage winger attracting attention from Premier League clubs including Tottenham, went close. On loan winger Marcus Tavernier, an England U19 international on loan from Middlesbrough, was the brightest spark for Milton Keynes, who summoned a spell of pressure in stoppage time without threatening to find an equaliser. Bayamu's goal would be decisive and Mitchish faces a grim battle to survive in League One. Coventry could look forward to the fifth round draw. A big one, said Robbins. Man United away, that would be perfect.